Hello there guys, welcome to Dave's Easy Tutorials. This video is for the basic editing. Now I've put a document up on screen. If I place the insertion pointer and I just click it there. Now notice, if I want to delete the word to the right, I use the delete key on the keyboard, the DEL key. And when I press it once, notice one character to the right is deleted. So you can delete text by the delete key one character at a time. Likewise you can use the backspace key and that will delete one word to the left or back delete as they call it. So you can delete one word to the left or to the right of that insertion point. The most common way that people would delete text is they would highlight what they want to remove and then they would just press delete. And you, again, you can either de press delete like I did or the backspace, they both delete keys. So that's the most common way of de deleting text. Um, mostly highlighting people will just say, right, I want to get rid of that and then press delete. It, it's pretty much that way. Um, cut copy and paste now all you've got to remember with this basically is anything you cut will move and anything you copy will duplicate so if i i like the word environment then go to the home tab and the clipboard notice there's a little pair of scissors i just click on them little scissors that cuts so it removes it from the screen you reposition your cursor where, or your insertion point, where you want to paste, and then you just click on that little button and say paste, and then that just drops it in. It is that simple. Now, you can, because it's such a common task, there's various ways that you can do it. Now, to cut, you can do the scissors. You can right click and say cut, or you could say control X three real common ways of doing it but whichever way you do it you just reposition and then you do paste which is up here and you just click the paste button or you can say control V and that will take it in or you can just do control V for victory or you could right click as well and say paste and you'll get the options which I'll walk you through in two seconds now, if we have a little bit of formatting on this, so I'm going to put, I'm going to change the colour to red. Well, actually, I'll just do the, the, the word. Change it to red and make it bold. I'm going to cut again, just to keep it with the cut theme at the moment. Now, I'll come down here, I'll right click, and I'll say, now then, notice here. I can paste keeping the source formatting that's where it's come from keeping it the same as where it looked where I took it from I can merge the formatting and that'll lose some of the formatting and usually keep the uh, bold and normal or I can put it in as normal text I've got the options here yeah so I'm just going to say keep it as the source and there it goes in as the source so that's what the paste options are and then paste options would be the same whether it's cut or copy it doesn't matter they're all the, uh, it's all the same yeah now the cut exactly the same only different command you just highlight what you've got to move you come down to the home tab the clipboard that little fella there is the copy two pieces of paper now you can hit that copy or you can do control C or you could right click and say copy either way it doesn't matter you've just got to get one way that you're comfortable with when people are first starting in word they would come up to the home tab that, and click on that after a couple of weeks they'll be doing control c and doing it you know the way that they're comfortable doing now you put it down there again paste is exactly the same you click on that paste button or do control v either way you get your paste options you just pick which one you want and it'll change it at the time so it's not a real problem and that's done cut copy and paste yeah now you've also got the undo here 
this is undo last command this is redo so if I undo I don't just imagine I don't want to do that I just click that and each time I click it it'll go back one command now if I go back too far and I don't want to you know I've gone back too far I've got the redo and that will redo the command so undo and redo now they're on the quick access toolbar by default but I use control Z for undo and control Y for redo and it just goes backwards and forwards really good if you accidentally delete something or if you're trying something out uh, but it is good just have a little play with it so it's undo and redo then we come over on the home tab and we come over to the editing group over here and notice we've got find and replace now if I drop that down and say you've got find advance find and, and go to any, any one of them it doesn't matter which one I click notice I get the find and replace box up now I can find and I can just type in there and let's say I want to find the word commands okay now it'll just go find next there you go look straight away it finds it if this was a big document 20 30 pages that could come in really handy for me I go next there's no more occurrences of it yeah when it comes to the replace we can say find whatever word and replace with whatever word so if I let's say I'm going to look for word as in the word 2010 and I'm going to replace that with Excel now I've got the choice at this point that I can say to the actual computer find next now notice it's found the first the word environment now I've got a choice now do I want to replace it or do I want to replace all so I could say replace all and it would find it would just replace all the word end of or I can say replace at this point I want to say find next because I want to leave that one now nah, we'll just go yeah find next so it'll go to the next one and again it'll go through them all look it finds every single one of them and I can then say yeah it's just moving that box about and it'll go around the document till it comes back to the start now if I say replace all it's done 11 replacements okay to that close that down notice now all the word is saying Excel brilliant absolutely brilliant at that point that is the basic editing at that point I would like to say thank you very much for watching my video don't forget to check my other videos out because I'm doing a series of courses for you if you subscribe with our channel we do do requests so if you want to know how to do anything um, you know insert tables mail merge anything like that go subscribe for us a request in and we'll do you a video just as soon as we can thank you for watching bye